Okay, in the College of Fine Arts, each student must take at least one of the following three subjects. All right. So, um, yeah, of course, we have similar data, but not the same. So, we have those same 100 people. Let's do min first over here. It's a little more simple. So, um, we'll take the, let's say, uh, the 80% take economics and 73 take history. So, let's say we've put down 73 over here who take history. Now, there are still 27 people outside, right? And look at that. I will have an overlap of, I'm trying to minimize. So that is why I've tried to spread them as apart as possible. I've tried to put them as apart as possible. So I have the 80 of economics over here, but then I will have an overlap of 53. There is no other way because, you know, 80 uh, people, then 20 are outside and then, um, uh, your 20 people have taken history, but then 53 overlap has to happen, right? So then I'll still have an overlap of 53 people. No choice. Now I have the 82. Now 53 people are in the overlap. So I want to protect this area. I want to minimize the overlap on this area, which means that outside, everywhere, over here, all this entire area, this is total 47, right? So now... I have to give away another 82 tickets, 82 take drawing. So then out of those 82, I give first to these 47 people over here, right? Then what am I left with? I'm left with 35 of them. I still have 35 tickets to give away, right? 35 more people have to take drawing. There is no other way because totally 82 people have taken drawing. So then there will be this overlap of 35 on this particular area that we wanted to protect. So then the minimum overlap that we really can't get away with is 35 and without, right? We have to have an overlap of 35. There is no way we can, uh, you know, uh, deal with it otherwise. There's no other way of uh, fixing, um, of distributing the tickets, right? All right, now what about max? Let's say I have my 100 people and we said in max, we start with the biggest set. So I have the biggest set, which is drawing, which is 82. So great. I have drawing, I have 82 and I want the overlap on this to be maximum. But I want that these 18 people that are outside, they should also have at least one subject, right? They Now, tell me now, does it make sense that you know, I have 80 people who have taken economics. So I have 80 of the economics tickets and I have 73 of the history tickets. Now, does it make sense that out of this 80, I give 18 over here. I'm left with 62. So I overlap the 62 over here. And then I have these 73. So out of these 73, I overlap the 62 because I'm trying to maximize the overlap. And I take the other 11 outside. Think about it. Does it work? Look, this there is a reason why I have not given 62 in the option because obviously, you know, quite likely many of you would have chosen that, right? That that is not the correct way to do it. Now, why is that? What happens when I do this? Look, say I out of these 80, I've given 18 over here. Now all of these people have a ticket each, and I have given 62 over here, right? Now when I'm distributing these H ones, then also I'm giving 62 over here and I'm left with 11. So it's 11 of these people are getting the H tickets, the history ones also. So there are quite a few people here who are getting two, right? But we want to maximize the overlap. So what do we do instead? Now think about it. I have 80 E and I have 73 history. So, there are 18 people outside. These There are seven tickets extra that I have in economics. I give those seven away to seven of the people over here. I have given seven of these people over here. I've given the economics tickets. Right? I want to maximize the overlap. So now I have 73 economics and I have 73 history. Right? I have these tickets left. Now, out of these 18, seven are already taken care of. They already have one ticket. They are done. We don't need to give them any more, right? We don't need to give them any extra. But there are, out of the 18, there are 11 still left outside who do not have any ticket. So what should we do? We should 
take out you know five and five or six and five whatever from each of these two sets so let's say i take six out of these and i give six tickets to six people over here and i take five out of here and i give five tickets to these people over here so i'm left with 67 of these and i'm left with 68 of these right in case it were an even number it would have been easier but it doesn't matter anyway so we have, since we have 11 people we have given each one of those 11 people one one someone got economics someone got history right we distributed out of these two sets we distributed equally to these 11 people and that is why then now i have 67 and 68 left so then when i'm trying to overlap when i you know i'm distributing these then i can distribute to 67 people uh, i can increase the overlap to 67 now 67 people get all the three tickets right because i have 67 of economic tickets left now isn't it now think about it once again in this case when out of the set of economics i was giving all to uh, you know to all the 18 people i had only 62 left of economics this had this had become a much smaller set and then a lot of these people had both economics as well as history that was not required. We are trying to increase the, maximize the overlap. So first we gave away the tickets such that economics came equal to history. That is, we gave away the seven tickets, first of all, the seven extra tickets of economics. Then we had 73 of both economics and history. Now we're just giving away equally. Like for example, what if 10 people were left over here? It would have been so much easier then, right? So simply what we would have done is that we would have given five of these and five of these. So we would have been left with 68, 68 each. And then we would have had an overlap of 68 inside this 82, right? Just because it's an, even, it's an odd number, we have 11 people left. So we had to give one extra from one of the sets. Doesn't matter which set I give it from. Either from this or from this, it doesn't matter. Of course, my maximum remains the same, 67, because in one of the sets, I'll have only 67 tickets left, right? Yeah, so that is why my answer over here will be 67 and 35. Yeah? This, this is, you know, one of the tricky parts. Yeah, if once you understand this, then... Most of the maximum minimum questions are resolved there. There isn't a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Why seven? Uh, yeah. Huda, do you understand why seven now? Because I had 80 tickets of economics. Think of them as, you know, things that you're carrying in your hand, right? It's easier to visualize that way. And I have 73 of history. So I have fewer of history. I have 73 of history. So these I can just give away because an overlap of more than 73 is anyway not possible. Right? So then I have like seven extra over here. So I give away these seven to these people because anyway my overlap cannot be more than 73. Now I have in my hand what? I have 73 of economics and I have 73 of history. Now I'm going to give from both, both my hands. I have economics here and history here. I'm going to give one from here, one from here, so that they both dwindle equally. I, you know, if instead I give away, let's say, all 11 from only one hand of mine, then what happens? This one becomes much lesser. And that is why my overlap will reduce. But if I'm equally distributing one from here, one from here, one from here, one from here, right? Then they are both dwindling together. So then they'll they'll reduce little by little, right? They'll reduce less. Both of them will reduce less there. So that is why I bring the economics a number equal to the history number first of all i give away the seven and then i reduce them together so that they both reduce less when i had given 18 of the economics tickets right away then i was left with only 62 of them so the overlap maximum overlap could only be 62 in that case whereas by using this strategy we have been able to increase our overlap to 67 
So that is the reason why we first give away the seven. They were anyway extra. And then we reduce both of them one by one. Give one from here, 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 one. When everyone is covered, now I have both the sets and I can maximize my overlap by giving them to the drawing uh, circle. People who are in the drawing circle. Okay, great. Thank you.